If you want to make your colouring life easier inside of Adobe Fresco, then you're in the right place. That's here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka the Design Ninja. So I spend a lot of time watching people work with Fresco. And one of the things I'm really surprised at is that most of them are using quite an old practice for colouring up sketches. Here's what that practice looks like. So you have a layer like so. I've got this inked ninja just here. And they change the blend mode of that layer to multiply. They then go ahead and get a layer underneath that and then do their colouring up. So, for example, if I just get uh, a brush here, in fact, I think maybe something like this brush pen would do fine, and choose a colour that I want to work with. Okay, something like that, I think, is pretty good. And then start to colour up. So if I just come outside here, like so, and just colour in these elements. Let's just make that a bit smaller there, like so. So that kind of thing or possibly flooding it and then going ahead and using the eraser to clean up the bits you don't want, which is pretty much what I'm going to be doing just here. So there we are. I've gone around that, and then I'm going to switch to using the brush as an eraser, okay, and then get rid of the stuff that I don't need. So if that's the kind of thing you do, then here's something that's going to change that. So I'm going to undo everything I've done just there. Okay, I'll go back to my drawing layer and just change that back to normal. I'm then going to use this new option or new-ish option. It's been here since around Christmas time. I'm going to go for the ellipsis at the bottom here and choose set as reference. That means any other layer inside of Fresco is actually looking at what that reference layer is doing. I'll then target my layer here and get my fill bucket and then I can just click in these regions. Okay, now you'll notice here I've got some fringing around those. I'm just going to back up just a little bit till I get to the first one here and just do that again. And the color margin slider appears. I can then drag this up to increase the amount of fill that's applied there until I can see no more, although sometimes it means it's going to bleed outside of the artwork. It all depends on the lines that you have there. But whichever way you look at it, this is a much, much easier way for you to work. If I just go ahead and choose another color there, I can just go ahead and tap really quickly, okay, and then get my drawing underway. And then I spend a lot less time, of course, fixing that afterwards you can see there that pushing the color margin up too far okay filled in that area but i can just back it off okay and fine tune it and that's working pretty well there you go that's that super tip for you from one of the new features in adobe fresco and if you're not using it already give it a go it really is worth the effort